Hello back everyone. So it's a time you know to add a new item to this SharePoint list throughout Visual Studio. Okay, so I will come back here. Here is it my context as we did before. I'm gonna repeat here again. I'm pointing here to training website and after that you know I'm taking the web from here and after that we are calling all the lists to retrieve you know an instructor list throughout this method okay so this is basically that lines we go through for with them in our last session okay so what's new over here we need to use a class called it you know list item creation yeah this one list item creation information i would like to use out this class and we will have an object out of it okay new no list item creation information here is it as we can see so right now we got the creation object so we can add items to this list how can we get benefit out of this object we will say creation dot what you have to tell them hey you know i would like to add a new item to this list but as you can see there is no properties over here to add item so how can we do that yes in that case you know in c sum all you have to do here is that we got you know something called it list so we will call our list which is basically an instructor list and this one have an a built-in method called it add item yes and this add item accept you know that object which have a name creation yeah like that and we should, you know, keep the returning out of this part inside list item. So we'll say here list item. And here is it, you know, my, we can name it, you know, item or no item. It's up to you. And have here that, you know, object, it will be stored in new item. And here is it, the next step, it will be new item. And I would like to add the title column. Okay. The instructor called it Charles. Here is it. Okay. And inside the other column, which you know is age, we can say 35. Okay. Like that. And after that, we need, you know, to say new item dot update. Okay. And the last step, as we know, it would be context.execute query. Yeah. So here is it. It should be executed. And we would like to have a message, you know, item added. Okay. And let's run our application to see what it will happen. Here is it. Debug started. Okay. And here is that item added. So it's time to go back. To our list and check over there do one refresh and as you can see charles is added here that sounds good awesome so right now you know how can you add a new item to your sharepoint list let's you know run our application again no need for all of that okay to run another one we can name it you know mary and her name we can or her age we can say 28 okay and start again and here is that item added. So I think right now we got, you know, three in, three instructors inside our SharePoint list. So it's time also to update, you know. I would like to update, you know, Darwish. This is my name. I would like to put, you know, uh, something here, okay? So I would like to update my name, all right? So I will go back here and let's add a method for updating. How can we do that, you know, throughout of this one so it will no need for creation all right i will comment out this line and in meantime you know here is it also no need for new item and i will comment out you know all that parts okay and we can you know also comment out this one okay so it is regarding about adding right now i would like to update so here is that if we scroll down here i will tell him hey instructor list okay 
I will call out this object and I have a method called it yeah get item by ID scroll down here you can find it it just you know get item by ID all right and I will pass to it you know it accept the integer so we'll say Darwish have ID number one and as usual I would like to keep that object inside you know list item here is that list item of type you know item you know okay and after that I would like to update this one so I will say item I would like to update his age something like that we can say you know 35 okay it will be something like that and the last part it will be what it will be update don't forget about update so you have to tell him hey up item dot update so all you have to do is to retrieve you know which item in this list you would like to update because here is that if you just tell him hey go update the age to be 35 all of them will be 35 you have to tell him no i need only to update this item how can you retrieve it you should have something unique something unique is just an id okay because each one of them have a unique unique id darwish charles mary so here is a darwish have a id number one okay here is his name here is his age so you would like to update this one that's why you told him get item by id number one here is it he got an object is referring to only this line so right now you told him all that i would like to update his age to be 35 item dot update and execute query definitely to be what to execute and take a trigger of that action item updated and let's you know run our application here is that item is updated okay so let's get back and do one more refresh here and here's that it works the age is right now 35 that sounds good okay so i would like also to do one more step here so in the same video here is it i will comment it out regarding update so here is it much better and here is it asterisk backslash okay this multi line comment you know okay so i would like to delete an item i would like to delete an item how can we do that yes you are totally true all we have to do is to take also that line again yeah and ask me which instructor do you like to delete yes here is it you have to tell me for example you know number three for example okay and after that all you have to say item and here is that we got a built-in method called it delete object this you know return just a void doesn't return anything okay and you can use it to delete you know an object all right why delete object because you're gonna delete everything you're gonna delete title age uh, address all of his data it will be deleted that's why it's called the delete an object okay and definitely no need to say update definitely not and just execute and show me a message so let's run one more time here is it gonna tell me item is deleted if i come back again to my browser here is it you know yeah as you can see just right now darwish and charles there is no mary okay it's just deleted okay so let's you know add some more data we can you know have kumar from india okay his age is 33 and have you know mr yako from amsterdam his age 40 okay and one more let's add also mary again from uk just his her age it was 28 i will add it again okay so here is that you have you know around five instructors over there i would like you know to write a query or you know something to 
show all the data inside this SharePoint list. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's navigate back to our Visual Studio and definitely let's comment out the delete object. Okay, no need for it anymore. Okay, so also we can tell them, hey, here is it, you know. Uh, we can say something, you know, deletion and of item, of SharePoint item, you know. We can say here also, you know, this basically update of SharePoint item. Okay, and this definitely it was addition. Okay. Addition of an of SharePoint item. Okay, so you know it's a very important you know to have you know some comments in your code so any developer gonna work with you gonna understand what uh, what you did. Okay, and no need for this console out. No need for it right now. So I will delete it. Okay, and right now our code is you know much clean. We have here our context, our website, and we have, you know, our list, which have a name and a structure, and we are keeping it right now. So, it's your, you know, it's your task, you know, to tell me how can I write a code to retrieve all items inside, you know, these instructors. How can we do that? So, to make things, you know, so much clear, I will take, you know, that list, and let's scroll down here, and this list you know have a property called it get items as you can see it is the first one and this one accept kernel query so here is that we will say you know query okay but you didn't define yet the query yes so i will define it i am calling you know class camel query and i'm taking from it you know just an object and telling him hey camel query okay and this one doesn't have any parameter or def definitely doesn't have any constructor but we can say what here we can say you know here is that we have a static something a static method called it you know create where is it why it didn't show up okay no need for this new okay so we'll say you know camel query create all items a query here is that you can specify how many items you would like to retrieve you know you're gonna specify the limit all right so for me you're gonna say the limit you know for me just theory this is about row limit to retrieving the data okay so this basically uh you have to specify the limit okay after that you got your query we are passing it here there is no any anything we didn't put you know any uh, something like greater than less than i'm just retrieving everything you know i didn't say i would like to retrieve an instructor with uh, their age is greater than theory or uh, whose uh, their name is working uh, in i don't know okay so i'm just retrieving everything okay i didn't put any criteria for this query and after that after we are passing the query in like that we need to keep those items inside you know something called it what called it yes list item collection yeah because this query is returning inside a collection so we're gonna name it you know items so here is that this is returning for me a collection of items i'm just keeping all of them here inside items so i would like you know to use context yeah dot what dot loot yeah and here is that i will pass to it the items okay and after that it just execute query but right now we didn't write you know anything for interface so we can say for each as long as we are working with collection here is that you know var item in your collection name which you know it's just items you just straightforward okay so i would like to go to each item in these items and you know just just show to me item of what item of title the name of the first column here is it plus let's have here some space and his her age is okay something like that and we can say here is it the other item it will be age 
to care about case sensitive for the column name because maybe it's gonna have a mistake with you because as you can see you know this what this you know is a string uh, called the title okay and also about you know the case sensitive so if you go back here to care about the column name because if here it's just a in capital and you said it you know a small it will not work so to care about the column name okay so here is it i'm telling him hey okay item you know this is my first item yeah sometime you know no need to say var sometime it's better to say the type or data type of this item so it just list the item okay this is regarding our item and this you know normal concatenation okay so let's see what's going on over there yeah yeah we are using you know console we are not using you know label or anything so we have to add you know console the try it line okay to show out this result okay console the try it line and here is that after that you know it should be like that uh, regarding you know this var if you leave it as a var it is not recommended it is not best practice from microsoft so it's better you know if you keep it like that sometimes it will work sometimes it will not but you know it's better to always inside for each to specify the type of this item if you don't know you can keep it var okay and just you know in case you don't know uh, the type of it okay so right now everything is looks fine okay shall we put i think a new line or what yeah this one is the right line okay so let's run and see start without debugging awesome so right now you got you know charles darwish kumar yako and all of them and here is that our ages is showing to you so also right now congrats man you did it you did the four important you know crude operation on csum all of them here is that you know you retrieve the get get this one it was get here is that we can name it here is it get all sharepoint items using csum so basically this code i'm gonna share it with you this code you know for you know get which you know is just read okay we're gonna name it basically you know some people name it crude you know uh it's basically uh create item read item update item delete item so people name it like that crude operations in sharepoint you know list uh, using uh csum dot net definitely we don't use yet javascript so here is it man congratulations you know throughout one video you did it you know you did all of the operation here is it you started about creation an item to sharepoint list and you did update to sharepoint list even though delete a sharepoint list item and you read here is it get all sharepoint item item using csum you know as you can see using camel query all right thank you for watching keep coding and see you in the next session.